again, it seems like Kawhi Leonard has been in the news more so for everything going on off the court as opposed to his play on the court. He's been dealing with a quad injury throughout this entire season. There's been some turmoil between him and the San Antonio Spurs, according to reports. But recently, Kawhi Leonard and his uh, talks with the Jordan brand have stalled. They were very close to coming up to a four-year contract extension worth $20 million. But discussions broke down when Kawhi's reps didn't feel the new deal reflected his accomplishments and status in the league. The Jordan brand extension offer did not include a signature shoe, which typically escalates the value of the deal, including 5% royalties. Some of Kawhi Leonard's statistics include NBA champion and finals MVP in 2014, two-time defensive player of the year, two-time all-NBA first team selection. He's smiling right now, and I'm trying not to laugh. Three-time NBA all-defensive first team. Right now in his current deal, Kawhi earns less than $500,000 per year. Now, this is the exclusive negotiating period between Kawhi and the Jordan brand. Once, I believe, July hits, they'll be able to negotiate with other teams. His contract expires on October 1st. What is Kawhi's bargaining power with the Jordan brand, and do we think he deserves a signature shoe? (laughs) He has as much bargaining power as the rest of all Jordan athletes. Zero. Zero? But Russell Westbrook Westbrook inked an extension this summer with the Jordan brand. He'll be the highest paid endorsed Jordan brand athlete of all time. So obviously they're... they're, (laughs) I'm pretty sure Jordan's never paid anybody. (laughs) Yeah, uh, well, (laughs) no Jordan brand brand athlete in the NBA earns more than $10 million per year with their endorsement deal. So, So... so Westbrook doesn't have more than ten. He he could. I dare, the figures did not uh, okay, come out. It, it's okay. I don't know what Kawhi. What 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 did Kawhi get offered? About twenty million. Yeah, over four years. He should have took that. I mean, he he should have took that from Jordan Brand. But he obviously wants a signature shoe. That was not in the contract extension offer. He's not a signature shoe guy. And he's what? not the guy that's gonna rev up. Shoe sales, like no guy, no kid out there is gonna be like, I'm gonna go get the Kawhi Leonard's. Have you gone and got the KLs, the KL lights? No (laughs) one's going out there to get the Kawhi Leonard's. He doesn't have the personality to sell shoes. He doesn't have the demeanor. He's not in the market to sell shoes. So to give him more than, I mean, five million is a fucking lot, Mm -hmm. considering who he is. Especially in the shoe in the shoe world. In the shoe world, I mean, he's a nice guy, clean. You, he's never going to get in trouble. Never going to say anything wrong. Yeah. Five million for that? Okay, I can take that. Yeah. Anything over that? Fuck no. What do you What do you think? Do you think Kawhi has a signature? He's going to be, be in Wong Jong G somewhere, he, the, trying to get a, get a shoe deal out there. To answer Pierce's question, thank you, sir. I'm going <laughs> to say no. I, I kind of agree with Gilbert, where it's like you know we don't hear much from Kawhi. It's not mm-hmm. his mo to talk. He doesn't do any press. Um, I don't think he's, I mean, people respect his game except for Gilbert, yeah. you know, across basketball fans. But Obviously, Jordan, too. With the <laughs> Jordan did respect his game. Big time. <laughs> with the and, yeah, it seems like, you know, a, a, for, his, for his stature amongst, I think, the general people of where he compares to a KD, to a Russ, to a LeBron, those other guys who have their own signature shoes and have their own lines, Kyrie's, go yeah. down the line. He falls way short. So, I mean, the idea that you're going to get an extra $5 million, which is a, what, 100% increase from your, you know, half a mil, yeah. uh, Salary right now from Jordan on a yearly basis. Why wouldn't you take that? But where where would he go next, right? So there's a uh, variety of different places. Even if you go to Nike brand, then they the probably Nike won't give him a signature. Sh- it doesn't say Nike brand. You're, you're Nike brand. You still have LeBron, KD, Paul George, Paul George. Like Kyrie. those are got like that's what I, see. People don't understand it, but these shoe companies are they do. His success, what they're giving him, doesn't translate to individual success. Team success, yeah, that's value different. Yeah. But when these guys are trying to, you're talking about shoe deals, you're not an individual star that can stand on your own. Yeah, you have the records and the championships and the 2014 NBA Finals NBA MVP. Finals MVP for shutting down LeBron James, who, who averaged 30 something. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, know, it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> correlate it doesn't correlate to sales. You're you're a great Spurs player. But when it comes to selling hundreds and hundreds of thousands of shoes, you're not going to happen. Listen, even so, oh, well. he's going to go to China, yeah. get him a China deal that can net him because he can use that appeal over in yeah. in China. Yeah, especially care. if your deal's structured with you know the royalties after a certain percentage, with only which only a few guys can actually get. I mean, right. yeah. What kind of units can Kawhi really it'd move it'd in the U.S.? I mean, even LeBron before the LeBron 15s came out was having trouble selling with Nike basketball. There's been a growing trend where the smaller guys are dominating shoe sales. Kyrie Irving but, line is one of the highest selling Nike products. But it's always products. been like that. See, that's why when when people and I I, I argue about this all the time on Instagram, <laughs> do not look at their heights because it's a lie. You know, some of these guys do not want to be bigger than what the you know bigger than what it says 
because it's shoe sales. Like LeBron, 6'8". LeBron hasn't been 6'8". Since his senior year in high school, right? You know, and that—that's just facts. He's six ten. You know, Kevin Durant is seven foot. Mm-hmm. You know, um, KG was six eleven his whole career, but he was seven one. Yeah. You know, these sh- the the bigger you are, the, it hurts your shoe brand. Right. So they, they, it's like, it's like if you're five nine, yeah, you're five eleven. <laughs> you know, but once you get to start six eight six nine, you're trying to come back down just a little bit because the everyday kid you know, can identify with someone who's smaller. Um, another a question that I'm curious about, and I'd love to get your opinions on this. What's going on with Kawhi? We haven't heard any type of distractions like this throughout his career. But we have the turmoil with San Antonio Spurs. Now we have the shoot contract leaking where he might explore other options. Is this his agency's fault, or is this Kawhi saying, I want to have a bigger presence, I want people to know my concerns, and I'm putting it, I'm leaking it to the media? What's going on? It's, it's probably um, negotiation tactics. Mm. Um, on on his side or the on on his side? agents okay. on his agent side, you know, Kawhi is a quiet guy, and I think he's trying to get the best value for his, you know, for his brand. And if you don't say anything, there's no uproar. Like you know, so him turning down a deal puts it in people's eyes. Oh, he turned down twenty. Then you have one side. Oh, he's worth way more than that. Yeah. And you, it's like a it's a public ne- yeah, it's a public ne- negotiation for him. You know, same thing with Spurs. If he, if he has like he's leaving, the Spurs fans is gonna have an uproar. Where is what's going on? Yeah. Give him, give him what he's worth. You know, it's he's he's a free agent in both these things, right? He's a free agent in uh, 2019. After so 2019. He's a, I mean, he's a free agent. You know, uh, right now in the shoe deal, he's gonna be free agent next oh, year. So he's deal, trying yeah. to, yeah, he's, he's trying to, he's trying to, you know, stir up some 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 mud. I mean, no Jordan brand athlete, the top tier Jordan brand athletes are not in big markets at this moment. I guess the, the top market would be Chris Paul in Houston, but Blake Griffin, Detroit, Kawhi Leonard in San Antonio, Russell Westbrook in Oklahoma City, yeah. Carmelo in Oklahoma City. So Jordan brand is obviously trying to say, let's get somebody in the big market. But at the end of the day, Jordan brand is Jordan. Yeah, we buying retros. We're not buying the mellows. I know nobody cares about jump man shoes. Like, I've never <laughs> went to the store and said, oh, let me get the hot new Carmelos. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, like I, let's be honest. Like, it's Jordan. It's the man on. Like, so he doesn't. He doesn't. Let's be honest. He doesn't need none of these fucking athletes to sell fucking ones, twos, threes, four, five, six, seven. Up. He doesn't. Like, you haven't bought a pair of ones because of not one athlete, but MJ. No, true. So he doesn't need a fucking soul to sell his shoes. So okay. that's why. The brands also talked about wanting to get more into like the lifestyle uh, realm and do more, you know, attire and apparel and stuff like that. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know what the appetite is going forward to do it, more. I mean, Jordan, 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 Jordan shoes is going to always be a f- favorite. Yeah. And that's just, it don't, it don't have nothing to do with it. He can go sign LeBron James right now. It can be the LeBron James slash Jordans. It can come out and it comes out with, let's say, the fours. Mm-hmm. Or the twos or the threes. Those twos or threes are going to sell more than that Jordan slash LeBron shoe. <laughs> that's just, Probably. That's just, Probably. 